Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another modded weapon guide here on Borderlands 2. Today we are back with a new modded SMG. This one is called the Rivet Tracer and uh, it's actually the first weapon made by um, a new guy called iHostCL over on the Borderlands 2 community GitHub. This is his first attempt at a modded weapon. It's a modded SMG uh, which replaces the Sandhawk and uh, it shoots E-Tech projectiles. And this thing is uh, pretty good with, uh, especially with the aiming down the sight bonuses on him. Um, actually, it's pretty good uh, as a hip fire as well, but most of the work is done with aiming down the sights and firing. There's uh, a lot of things that happen when you do that. So yeah, we're going to give this thing a try out, give it a review, and as always, we'll start off by showing you guys exactly where to get this weapon. So, as always, you can click on the link in the description, that'll take you straight there, or you can try and get uh, yourself by clicking on Borderlands 2 mods, and then scrolling right down to near the bottom, and uh, clicking on iHostCL's page, which is right here. Click on that, and you'll see uh, the Rivet Tracer is the only one in there. Like I said, this was his first attempt at a modded weapon. Click on that and that will bring up the weapons information page for all the information you need to know as well as the code itself. So you're going to click on the raw tabs, right click, save as, and then save it into your Borderlands 2 binaries folder. Come into the game and open the console command up and execute it. And uh, like I said, you're going to need a Sandhawk for this. Everyone should have a Sandhawk, at least one. Um, and uh, that will change your Sandhawk into the Rivet Tracer. Uh, so yeah, like I said, this is E-Tech uh, projectile shooting. You can see there's uh, some bounce on the bullets as well, some reflex, which is uh, nice pink projectiles as well. So let's get a little bit of an overview right now. You can see the, uh, the fire rate increase as well when aiming down the sights. I'll go into all them details later. Uh, this says nothing special as the red text, being a bit humble right there, but it is now Atlas weapon. Atlas weapons have come back from these modded weapons uh, so you can see right now he has made it an atlas weapon there are the stats right there nice simple skin on it as well nice pink color so uh, yeah anyway that is what it looks like uh, let's go carry on the kills and I will uh, run through the list of changes so we're going to be carrying on the kills through bloodshot stronghold right now uh, so like I said this is his first custom weapon that he's made it's called the river tracer made by iHost CL so aiming down the sights is like i said is the big thing with this um, it's quite good with hip fire it does a lot of damage as you can see well chips away at the enemy it's not overpowered at all but aiming down the sights while running backwards things oh, sorry hip firing while running backwards and things like that does still do damage to an enemy so if you've got them low and they're running after you especially lunatic bombers and things like that you can still fire away from the hip and uh, do a decent amount of damage and hopefully kill them before they can uh, explode onto you but 90% of this thing is all about the ADS so aiming down the sights will actually unload your entire magazine you'll see right there I was uh, firing a few shots here and there but if you uh, continue to aim down the sights your whole magazine will go um, which is good as well because when aiming down the sights you get a huge fire rate increase critical hit damage increase, health regen and ammo regen boost as well. So uh, yeah, that is pretty good really. Like I said, fire rate being faster is good. The uh, the critical damage, aim for those heads uh, while unloading your whole magazine. Big enemies like Ultimate Badass Lunatics, things like that running towards you. Aim for the head while aiming down the sides and uh, you should put them down pretty easily. But while aiming down the sights, you get the health and ammo regen as well. So that's pretty good because obviously in unloading your entire magazine is soon going to uh, empty your uh, ammo supplies out. So at least while doing this, you will get the, uh, the increase for that, which is pretty good. It actually tops your magazine up totally. I've been running through this uh, for quite a while now, a couple of minutes. And you can still see every time I aim down the sights, it just fills my uh, max ammo up completely, which is pretty good. Uh, it shoots EPEC tech projectiles, as you can see. Um, this will break Bandit and TDO sights. We are using this, so uh, just bear that in mind. Uh, it has a reduced magazine size. Uh, I think it's about 35. Yes, 35 in my current clip right now. Uh, this does also incorporate melee as well. So if you're a melee player, 
or you've got melee skills equipped and you like to uh, to do a bit of melee damage this will also uh, have a bit of few boosts here and there for melee uh, players so uh, maybe get it on Krieg or something like that and give it a try uh, custom pickup flag icon uh, no idea Idea what that is. If someone would like to educate me on that, you know, I should have researched that really. But I'll let you guys tell me what a uh, what a custom pickup flag icon is because I'm not here to that one. But I'm a bit of a noob. Uh, it has a custom skin and also he's got a predefined part in there as well. So uh, he has provided a gib code for you guys to paste in to uh, to get the perfect one, which is the uh, the exact one that I am using right now. So uh, yeah, anyway guys, wow, that absolutely destroyed Ralph right there. Uh, as you can see, this thing is pretty good really. For a first weapon, again, very impressed. Um, I'm no weapon modder myself or like that, but I could probably understand that. It's not the easiest thing in the world if you don't really know what to do. Uh, so first weapons are always quite a good impression for uh, for me to see what people come up with first obviously there's a good help in the community things like that so people are uh, able to get quite good weapons out there even at the start because people do help them out so uh, yeah anyway that is a uh, modded weapon guide that is the rivet tracer let me know what you think of this like i said first weapon so uh, it'd be good to get a bit of feedback for uh, for i host cl if he does watch this uh, so yeah put your comments down uh, below and let me know what you think of this thing personally I think it's pretty good I'll do like a nice easy play style with it actually and uh, it's just good to know that if a big tough enemy is coming towards you you can just absolutely wreck it while uh, aiming down the sights getting all those big boosts uh, just like Flinter right now is about to find out so yeah thank you guys for watching me hope you enjoyed that was the rivet tracer made by iHostCL and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in the next one